Hey, welcome back. This is Imdog, and we are going to get another episode in here. Um, we'll just get get started, see see how long we can go. We do have some the potential of work impending or uh, intruding on us a little bit for this episode, but we'll see. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a solid one in. I did notice there are a couple of rough orders here as we're getting close to nighttime as we're starting. So, I think... Oh, do we want to try over Yeah, let's try over here for... Well... Actually, I think let's try the dock. Um, let's just remove the clip off of everything. And we'll just use worms for now. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to sort of cast it out there. If they're there, we should figure that out pretty quick. Actually, we want to take this hook off. We want to have our two small hooks on there. This one will cast even farther. Let's just see if we can land on some rough here. And uh, yeah, twenty. I, I don't think we'll. I don't think I want to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we do want to go get a, another size twenty-two hook. Let's just see if we're if we're even going to be catching them here first. Um, I do want to get some ground bait going though. We need to make roach and more crucian gibble ground bait. If for no other reason, because, let's see, crackers we're going to need for both, right? And then we want millet porridge, bloodworm. We should still have, how much do we have of this? Well, we've used all of our sunflower now. That might be, that might be true. And then caramel. All right, so we can make those. Might as well go ahead and eat while we're over here. Let's see what we're catching. It's a little early still. It's not quite night, but if they're over here, they'll hopefully start popping out if this is an okay spot to catch them. There are other places that I have caught them before as well. So let's just see. That's not going to be a rough... See if we're getting them at all. Uh, looks like we've got fish coming in on the other lines as well. And let's go ahead and make some ground bait. It might be worth going to try one of the old rough spots. See if it still see if it still works over there. We'll, um, we'll see if, if any of these, now this could be a rough. We'll see if any of these catch a rough. Just a really small white green. And this isn't a rough. So yeah, I think let's run over. I don't remember exactly where. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if it's worth, it's another perch, isn't it? I'm trying to decide if it's worth, um, I think somewhere over here, kind of just casting straight out. I've caught rough there before. We also were catching them over here, though, weren't we? I just don't know that they were really plentiful. Let's just go try something. Once it's morning, the main thing I was wanting to do is go try a little bit of float fishing at Winding again. Uh, one of the comments you guys left on the video, somebody left a comment about specifically saying where the 
bleak and day spot was and they were really selling it hard so i wanted to go try it maybe you know like first thing in the morning potentially we'll see uh, my, my goal this episode is just to get a little bit of silver so that we've got we're kind of set up for purchasing this the the shovel and um cooking equipment and i'll do that probably the next episode when we have a little bit more time so like i'm wondering right here Do we want to clip it? Let's just see. Uh, I meant to put roach mix. I, I don't. I'm not saying that roach mix is better for rough. I have no idea. It, it's actually we probably do just as well. You know, just throwing out no ground bait at all. But for some reason in my mind, I think roach ground bait might be a little bit better than crucian gibble if we're going to use a ground bait at all so let's just see if, if let's see if any fish are biting in this spot i don't remember it's just been so long i i just i know that in the last time i did this right when new mosquito came out we had found some rough options But I also think they were biting off the dock then, too. So. Do we think that fish is on now? Yeah. Well, what is this? <laughs> it's a small bream, maybe. No, it's a roach. Man, that roach that roach mix really works, doesn't it? Okay, size wise this is promising. but not the right one. Now, sometimes red worm works even better than regular worm, but in my experience, if they're there, they will bite on the regular worm. Another roach maybe? Yeah, so we found a little roach spot, perhaps. Perhaps this is that little roach spot we've been looking for. Which, once it's uh, a little later, the, the roach will just stop biting. So we'll either be left with nothing or... Um, Or maybe something else will start biting. Nice Nelma by Gravis Tun, by the way. All right, let me see if I can pull up that comment. By the way, if you watched the last episode, Musaka did clarify. So if you remember, Musaka was telling me about that supercast reel and um, a different rod but he was talking about doing that instead of the pro feeder kits which i don't typically go for the pro feeder kit so i i, I do think that that is a i do think you have a lot of options when you're thinking about like past so ba basically that would be instead of the saber 60 potentially going with that supercast reel uh, and the feeder rod he was talking about. Yeah, there's a bream. So we do need to remember this. Um, it might be worth trying this spot 
for a bream. Of course, we want to use a little bigger hooks and uh, try some different baits out. But once we are wanting to try bream, this I have caught bream here before uh, overnight here at Mosquito. They're not great. It's nothing like, you know, old bird bream. But, man, this rod is just not catching anything. We haven't had a single fish on that first rod. Everything's coming in on the second and third one. And it is another roach. Yeah, so we'll have to remember this. They're going to stop biting now that it's late. But if we ever wanted to um, really try to ta target roach, you know, hard, throw out some pearl barley, peas, uh, whatever we're trying to catch them on, you know, this might be the spot or a spot to give it to try. Okay, so we caught some nice fish here. Let's go over to where we were catching the rough in that shallow spot and see if um, if they're biting at all, if, if there's any consistency to them. If not, we're gonna have to just keep experimenting for um, trying to find trying to find a rough spot. I'm also tempted to maybe toss it in at the at the dock again now that it's late. It might have just been a little early for rough. I don't know that I've ever seen it where rough wouldn't, you know, you couldn't catch them at least a little bit off this dock. So I'm kind of curious about that. I might cast one in here and then go set up the rest, the other two, um, in that other spot. Where we were fishing in episode two, I believe for Crucian Gibbles. So we know the Crucian Gibbles are over here and, and do really well even at night. Uh, but let's see about the rough. Let's see if there's... And we know they're over here, but they may be rare. You know, it might have just been like, I don't know that we ever caught more than two or something. But now that we have the hook size to try to target them a little bit, we just got to find a spot where they'll come out pretty quickly. Because uh, if we can find that, then, you know, all of a sudden you can, when the right cafe orders are up, you can make a lot of good silver. I don't guess we can see. Oh wait, we kind of can. We might be able to tell if that line over there starts moving. I don't know. Something's nibbling on it. Yeah, and the other uh, the other comment was that the Dace bleak spot at Winding 7285 is hard to beat for early game. This is what Brendo said. It's cheap. Maggots are casters. Telerod and best smallest hook you can get. Pulls out. Pulls out bleak Dace and rough Gudgeon, if you switch to rum uh, to worm. So we might even be able to try that at night for rough if they're really there. So kind of interesting, good advice there. I mean, I'd be curious to try it some more over there. So that spot he's talking about is basically where we were, but it's a little farther down, I think, if, if I remember correctly. We'll have to go check it out. We've got a lot of nibbles here. I mean, this just isn't, this just isn't happening quick enough. Whatever is happening, it's not fast enough. Yeah, that's that's not a rough. All right, I don't I don't like it. I don't think we found it yet. We are still looking. They're not always in like holes, but sometimes they are. The rough spots. Nothing here either, huh? 
It's interesting. Oh, this thing's like... That thing was getting snagged on the bottom. Snagged on the bottom. Okay, let's double check the cafe. I don't think... Just in case there's something worth coming back to. If not, we'll probably just go ahead and switch. It's only 10 silver. I'm not going to sweat it. All right. Let's go ahead and switch to winding. And like I said, let's go test it at night before the morning bite starts. See if there actually are rough here. This is a pretty convenient spot. It's like almost right at spawn. Um, gudgeon order. Rough order, but it's for huge rough. Really big ones. All right, so 7285 is here. Um, do we want to clip this? I don't think we want to cast too far. That one is clipped. We'll keep it clipped where it's at. This one is not clipped, and we'll cast it. Oh, it is clipped. Never mind. All right, so we'll just test that spot, I guess. We pretty much threw them all at about the same distance. I'm thinking about going ahead and getting some sinkers now that we have, you know, we're starting to make a little bit of silver. Um, and these guys are pretty cheap. That way we don't have to use the cage or ground bait like in these moments where we're fishing for rough. I don't think rough care. Come on, be a rough. Interesting. A nace. It's a nace. This is something really small. Hopefully it's a rough. I think it is. There we go. All right, so let's switch this to that for overnight at least. Might have been worth getting a third hook at the right size, but it's all good. All right, we got our first rough, but there's no cafe order for it here. This is more just experiment. Oh, there is. We just need one more. I didn't know this small one was there too, and the big one. I mean, we're not going to hit this big one, I don't think. I guess Nace is at least possible. Sounds like Gudgeon might be two if we use worms. Hmm. During the day, we might get Gudgeon on the worm. This seems pretty slow. We could try to cast one a little farther, maybe. Sometimes the rough, the rough bite doesn't really show because they're so small. Um, is this one clipped? No, it's not. Okay. That looks like, yeah, there's something on it. All right, we're catching rough. All right, so we hit the small one, right? So that's 12 silver, 12 easy rough silver. Then about 5 a.m. we'll throw in float. See how we do down here on float.
I guess ideally we want to keep using these two with the smaller hooks and then this one will pull up and put float in in just a little bit. There we go. These are small guys, but at least we're catching them. Once you're in a spot, they're actually typically really easy fish to catch. And if you're in a good spot, you can usually see some pretty good marker sizes as well. Red worms might help with that a little bit, but the first step is just finding some spots where they'll come out pretty readily. I think about 4.30 we'll throw the float in. Oh, I guess we do have to, I guess we do have to take one of the bigger ones out because, or, or one of the either, I guess the number one, because we want that hook for our float. And it's out of stock here. Even those are out of stock. All the small hooks are out of stock here, aren't they? That one's not, but you got to be level 12. You can go to Old Berg by then anyway and get the cheaper one. Hmm. I think it's line one. Yeah. All right, so this is one. We'll take this. We'll take the hook off of this one. It's another rough. So it is working. Which one is that? That one apparently. All right, small hook. And they were suggesting maggots or casters, right? Go 17 centimeters. I don't know how far out we want to cast. Probably not far, but we'll start close and then adjust. There's something. It's like a dace. Yeah. Cute little dace. I think I'm just gonna keep it right here if we don't get a bite. If we don't get a bite, you know, right here at the ramp, I'll just pull it back in and recast. Oops. All right, let's see if, let's see if what we're catching on this is worth, oh, there's a marker. Okay. A little closer this time, maybe. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Oh, nice bleak. Nice bleak. I think we have a fish on both feeders, which is nice. So that, that nibble didn't happen until a little farther down. On that last one. Oh. We scared that one away. All right, let's uh let's see what these are. Again, these do sort of slow down the float fishing. So I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Um Maybe it is. I mean, we can kind of ignore them till we're ready to check them. Let's try caster one time, just in case it's a quicker bite. That's the only thing we're seeing. It's just, it's not a very fast nibble so far. I tend to have better luck with maggots than casters in this type of situation, but I also have probably tried maggots a lot more. And if we had pearl barley unlocked already, I would definitely try that too. It's just not happening, is it? Hmm. Okay. I am going to cast it farther out this time. Just make sure we're not missing something here out in the middle. It's been a while since I've fished down here. Things could have changed. You would kind of think this whole area would be pretty similar, but you never know. There's another bleak. All right, now we're, at least for a second here, we've been getting a quicker bite, throwing them farther out. If we're gonna get that quick, quick a bite, then I will definitely pull the feeders out. Yeah, we, yeah we're, we're doing better now. All right. That's a dace, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's get these out of the water. The rough are going to disappear now anyway, I think. This will be the last rough, I think. Yeah. Another marker, though. That's nice. We didn't see any of the big fat rough we needed for the order, but let's see if we're onto something here, casting it farther out. If we could get a reasonable percentage of marker dace and bleak, then, um, you know, that's, that's going to be good silver. There's no doubt. Again, especially if you focus doing this daytime and then either rough or see how we're already not getting points for every fish we catch. We're only at 11.7%. We already are not getting points every time we catch a fish nighttime though. You could go for the big fat crucian gibbles and then daytime come hit dace bleak gudgeon rough could be interesting.
We don't want it to have to go down that far. It just takes too long. Let's um, let's hit casters one more time. We do have twenty two on, right? Yeah. Okay. Not quite a marker, but it was a quick bite. Go backwards a little farther. See if we get an early bite <coughs> that way. I wonder if you get more dace at a deeper depth. I wonder if that's ever a thing. Like we're at 17, very shallow, as shallow as you can have it, which is great for bleak potentially, but I don't know if that's ideal for days. Nice. It's a nice bleak. Okay. I mean, this is good. Let's try going down to 50. Let's just see what happens. That's our best bleak ever, by the way on this account right what was the other one no we had a 70 gram already forgotten about it see i don't know if if the bleak will still bite very much at this depth they may that's another bleak I was hoping that maybe we'd have a few more dace mixed in just for variety. That's a quick bite. Nibble, nibble. One thing that's nice about fishing in a current is there's a dace. It's a nice one too. 139 gram. I mean, that's legit silver right there. All right, when you cast your float out and you've got a current, notice in the bottom left, right uh, above the bar at the bottom there, you get that drifting with the current. Well, when that disappears, you know that you're getting like a pretty solid fish bite. And you might not catch it every time, but you know, sometimes it'll nibble and that fish drifting with the current will still stay up there. But if it, if it disappears, then you are either getting a bite or you're probably about to, in my opinion. That's how it seems at least. We'll try to notice if that seems to be true, but. So it's nine in the morning. I mean, we've been fishing in like that sweet spot of the morning, early in the morning kind of thing. That's a decent bleak, right? No. Um, I'm curious as we get a little bit higher temperature, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, noon, can we still catch markers at all or they just get really small? Bite might slow down, but it might get really small. Just not sure. Boy, that was a solid dace we caught though. It's a bleak, 48 gram, I like it. So we're on to something now, we've changed the depth. We've had a, a run of some interesting fish. Bleak again. All right, so let's go to 80. 
No, let's go to 75 centimeters. Even, even deeper. Let's see what happens, if anything. So we've tried 17, 50, and now 75. Nibble, nibble. Ooh, yeah, strong bite. Oh, yes, 150 gram dace. I want to go see how much silver that is, but I don't want to stop fishing while we're still catching decent fish. 150, 139. Like, I think that's going to be, you know, kind of like what Brendo was saying. I mean, those are solid five, six silver per fish, something like that. Remember, a trophy crucian or a trophy gibble is only about 10 silver. So, per, you know, silver per fish, these are, for early level, these are some pretty decent pretty decent fish to be catching. Gravis Tun says, hey, M dog, how's the new account going? Great fun so far. Late bite. So that's a chub. We're not really catching bleak so much at this depth, are we? Is this where we switched it? I think it is. So maybe by going a little deeper, we're increasing our chances of dace and decreasing our chance of bleak. And that's not to say we won't ever catch a bleak at this depth. I'm sure you can. But I'm just wondering if that might be the case, which means like, you know, maybe 50 centimeters is a sweet spot thereabouts to catch a little bit of both. I, I, I don't know. Or we could try like 40 centimeters. Because I don't know if I want it so deep that you can't. You know, that it's hard to catch the bleak at all because that might just ruin your bite rate if the dace are more like random. But I also want to make sure we've got a good chance of hitting those dace. So let's try 40. We'll just keep experimenting. It is also getting later in the morning. So, you know, some of the changes might not just be what we're trying different. It might be the time of day. That's a nice quick bite. Now the bleak is going to eat it up so fast the dace won't have a chance to get to it. Maybe 50 is better than 40. Small fry. Something else I just thought about. So I'm going to take the bells off. And I'm just going to throw these in. And if we feel like checking them every once in a while, we can. I mean, the only thing we're losing... Let's make sure there's not a clip on this one. The only thing we're losing, potentially, you know, is a worm. Which we get, whatever, 50 free worms a day. We're about to have more worms than we'll ever be able to use once we get the shovel. So it's not a big deal if fish gets away, but every once in a while, if we want to check those lines, we can kind of just see what we're catching over there. Continue to level up our bottom fishing a little bit. So we won't hear the bells anymore. We will see the line move if it's a good solid bite on the feeder. Uh, and then we can also just check it every once in a while if we want to. It just feels weird when you've got feeder rods and you're just fishing with one float. Like, might as well have them in the water, right? I mean, really, we're not losing anything. It's not like we're using ground bait. We're not using baits that cost us anything. And I definitely want to be leveling our bottom fishing. Slowly but surely.
Yeah, so we have a fish on the on the feeder. But again, those feeders, those auto hooks mechanisms, I mean, they'll that the fish will stay on for a while. If we're patient, we do sometimes get a late bite down on this end. There we go. Oh. Didn't stick with us. Somebody was saying they had tried to uh, send us some ground bait, but they weren't high enough level to send it. And uh, just as a, you know, it, it, there's no need to send me anything. Just because it, it really helps motivate you to not, if you don't get free stuff, it keeps you motivated to keep working on stuff. So I, I really prefer not getting, I mean, obviously if I wanted to power level this account, I could send whatever I wanted to from my main account. And... Um, just zip through the levels, but that's not the, you know, not the point of it. That's a nice one. 66 grand bleak. So it's afternoon now. We're still catching really solid, really solid, uh, solid fish. Little perch. Looks like the one we cast farther over there. Just doesn't, doesn't look like it's caught anything yet. Let's move it more towards the middle. There we go. That was a nice bleak we just got though. Then it seemed like the bite has definitely slowed down. All right, let's go back to 50 just to see. We have a fish on feeder rod, but I'm gonna try to ignore it a little bit longer. Let's see, it's eight, 18.5 degrees. Yeah, it's a dace. We'll see what the high is supposed to be today. It's 18.7 now. It's still going up. It's supposed to get up to 22 degrees. It's also supposed to be overcast, which it was earlier. And then it looks like the sun just popped out fully. Nice. Oh, that's depressing. That was tricky. It popped way down and then it came right back up. All right, so we're just consistently catching perch. Probably not worth having them in right, now, right at the moment. All right, let's go look at um, the cafe orders again in case something was rolling off. Uh, let's see. We haven't gone for gudgeon yet. We could try that. We didn't have any rough that large. Um, only one perch over that size. We're not catching those. So we're probably not gonna do anything. Let's, let's switch to worm. See if gudgeon just happened to be like really easy. But by the way, let's check our prices here. Yeah, look at these dace, eight, seven, and then the bleak go down to three, two, two. Bleak are so easy is why they add up. But if you can catch some dace like this, that's really nice. I mean, we're sitting at 37 silver. It's nothing like crazy, but it's still pretty decent. And I definitely feel like I'm still getting 
dialed in figuring things out here. All right, let's see if we see any. Um, so with worm and this smaller hook, are we going to see gudgeon? Are we going to see some daytime rough? Or are we going to start getting weird stuff on there like roach and perch and maybe crucian gibble stuff? I mean, I, I don't know. Let's see. I still think maggot's probably the way to go. We could also put it back at like surface depth. I have a feeling gudgeon might be like bleak in the terms of the not wanting to have it too down towards the bottom, maybe. All right, let's try this one more time, except have it at 17. And then we'll get back to maggots, see how maggots are working at this time of day. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, let's try maggots again and let's go to like 25. We couldn't do squat with worms, but it might be the time of day too. Ooh, nope, immediate bite here on maggots. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good. Like a spot like this is really nice to have to mix it up. I mean, overall, I still probably prefer like figuring out stuff to do with feeder. Like this whole strategy is so focused on float fishing. Um, but it's a good diversion, right? Try something a little different. What is this? A little roach, isn't it? That's oh, an eyed. It was an eyed all along. Warmer part of the day, things come maybe a little closer to shore. A little more up towards the surface. Almost no wind at all. It is blowing from the south, though. It's a bleak. Where is our dace? It's kind of fun to be close and be able to see the fish. I mean, back in the day, first of all, this this little thing we're standing on wasn't here, but this spot was always, for me at least, much closer to the shore than what we've been doing today. But what we've been doing today seems to have been working. So, hey, what's that? That looks weird.
Huh. Little roach. There's a bleak. Ah! I could tell he was about to to float or swim away. I, I it was a f false alarm on that first one. Oh, something's back. This is not a bleak though. I don't know. This is something nibbling. Ooh, we got it. It's another roach. We've caught a lot of fish. It's just a lot of small, like too many smalls that aren't markers. That's what's hurting our overall silver. But I also think maybe you just wouldn't do this unless you had a couple of cafe orders to back you up to make sure you were going, it was going to be worthwhile, which I mean, there, it, it's often the case that, you know, there's bleak orders here. So, or days, so it's not a bad strategy if the right orders are up. If the right orders aren't up, and if you don't have a little better percentage than what I'm getting on markers, I'm just not sure it's worth it. Oh, we might hit that roach order now, though. There's only like five of them, wasn't it? I just don't remember the size cutoff. I hope we get the Christmas fair soon. Although, as I was thinking about it, I'll have to go back and look. I can do that real quick now. Maybe not while I'm float fishing, but as I was thinking about it, I'm thinking it might have been... It might not start till Christmas itself. Ooh, that's a nice one. That was a nice one. Let's see if I can keep an eye on. All right, I need to go to my channel. I need to search for Christmas. Yeah, see, I called it the Christmas New Year's Fair. Let's try one a little closer again. All right, one more cast here. Then we're gonna sell fish, and then maybe maybe we'll go throw feeders in at Mosquito, at some random spot, just for a couple minutes while I'm while we're looking at this Christmas fair thing. But I have this feeling that it's more like between Christmas and New Year's, not before Christmas. But hopefully we'll still be doing this leveling series when it comes out. I mean, I'm sure I'll do a video just on the fair itself. But I'm also, I'm just really hopeful that they'll have that event again. Alright, let's try. I know I said one more, but I was expecting us to catch a fish there. Let's throw farther again. Come on. There we go. Yeah. May not be a marker, but at least we call it one more fish. All right, let's double check. Yeah. Oh. How much is it worth? Six silver? I'm not going to sweat it. I'm just not going to sweat it. I don't want to sit here trying to catch a, another tiny roach. That's 41 silver. Look, we'll take that. We're up to 72 silver now. Let's go ahead and purchase the stuff we need. Um, okay, so what are we getting right now? First priority, 
uh, I mean, our priority right now is going to be cooking and shoveling. Is this the hardware? Yeah. All right, so we need the tea kettle and the shovel. We need tea and then we need matches and some firewood. Uh, let's just do three for right now. And then grocery store. A little bit more bread, but the big thing we want right now is tea. What can we afford? Just 10. That's fine. That'll get us started. There went all our silver, folks. Silver is gone. Okay. I promise we're not going to go much longer. <laughs> Red Fisher says, I've been chasing this carp around Oldberg for the last 10 minutes with starter setup. I should have followed the M Dog game, game plan. That's funny. That is funny. Um, see, I don't really know. All right. Let's, uh, well, we don't want to use Tiny Hook anyway. Let's get our other feeder. Yeah, we'll use roach mix. That's fine. Because I don't really know what we're fishing for. We're just going to throw some stuff out. Uh, let's try bread. And worm. Oh, we don't have a bell on that one still? That's funny. And let's try casters. Okay. So this is December 23rd, right? So if you are looking to do the new yes, here's the event. Here's the event. You catch all the presents. Talking about leveling up your float fishing. Oh, and here is the... Um, Oh, that's when they first introduced the houses where you could put fish on on the trophy boards. I love the Christmas fair. Yeah, so if you notice, this is 1223, and I'm guessing that's like the day or right around the day that they put that in. So, yeah. It probably is not going to happen until closer to Christmas. Closer to Christmas. Hey, it's a white bream marker. That's pretty cool. Do it again. How has the bread not caught anything in that spot? How much is one white bream worth, by the way? 
1.3 silver and that's a small marker you know once they hit 300 grams they look a little different where's the bleak spot here hmm I don't know I have no idea actually bleak at mosquito not as not as uh, readily available to me as bleak spots at winding Oh, what did maggots catch? Oh, nice rough. I mean, roach. Really nice roach. We're doing nothing out here on bread, by the way. All right, let's test how good this this is for a um, a roach spot. Do a little test. Okay, so we won't start cooking yet, but I will show you shoveling. All right, so here's the shovel. I typically, for now, at least we'll just put that in the number four spot. So what we're leveling up with shoveling is harvesting baits. Right now, we have the ability of getting worms and red worms. Red worms will be more rare. Worms will be more common. Is it worth putting points in this? Yes, probably. It will it'll increase your success rate, um, and you might dig multiples instead of, you know, more often. Um, it can be worth it long term. Do you want to have points in digging? It just depends. It's one of those, like, optional things in my mind. There's never enough points to go around, so I'm not going to do it, at least not yet, till I think about it more. Um, I probably end up putting this point into that again, but... There's what it looks like to hold the shovel. And there's what it looks like to dig. So we did get our first red worm. We haven't purchased any, so that is our first red worm ever. We leveled up harvesting. And now if you notice our energy, which is that top line in the bottom left, our energy is pretty much gone. It is gone. And without tea or some sort of you know sweet drink, um, or caffeinated drink, it's going to be, hey, it's another nice roach. I think we're on to something here with this little spot. It's going to be a long time before that energy builds back up. So that's why digging and cooking go together. This is just the unlucky rod right now. We're not catching stuff on it. But let's see how much those roach are worth. So the good thing about a common roach spot, if you can find a good one, which this may or may not be, but if you can find a good one, uh, they typically come out really fast. And it's only like one silver a piece. I guess the bigger one's two, three silver. But if you're catching them pretty quickly, that can add up. So that's a quick eight silver right there, right? Back up to 13, so that helps. Um, so it might be worth spending a little more time at that other dock that we've just found the roach. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we feel like next episode. But hey, as always, thanks for watching. Next time we will need to fish somewhere where we can put the feeders down and then do some cooking, cook up some tea, start leveling that up, which will help us dig a lot more. Okay. Tight lines, everybody. See you next time.